Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit my blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com and sign up for my user list so you're sure to get the latest post delivered directly to your inbox. Alright, uh, today I have a request uh, that I saw in a, an Excel forum and it was to do what you might describe as maybe a heat map uh, in Excel and uh, the user wanted to know how can I create this chart that you see here uh, the user was stumped and didn't know how to start, where to start, thought maybe a, an area chart might be um, how they would make this chart where you can see there's a light yellow, darker yellow, maybe an orange or dark, dark yellow, and then red. Uh, this is the National Ocean and Atmospheric uh, National Weather Service, their heat index chart. So I want to know how to do this. Well, first you might look at it and say, yeah, I, maybe I can do this with an area chart, but it would be difficult to get these stacked lines like this or this uh, stepped line chart within an area chart. So uh, don't necessarily run always to a chart. You can create really amazing charts just using spreadsheet cells. So you'll notice these are actually just spreadsheet cells uh, formatted to look like a chart. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so to create this chart, what you first want to do is you want to create your title. And I've just done that with a merge cell feature, uh, merge and center. Done the same with the heat index. And then now we've got sort of uh, access labels here and over here. Now, you're going to use the merge and center button like you see on your home ribbon. Uh, but then you're also going to use this other feature here called orientation. It's a button in the alignment section within the home ribbon. Once you orient it uh, to, I think it's 270 degrees, or uh, your text will go this way. Uh, and then all of the rest of this is just done using regular borders. Uh, and then down here, we actually have what you might consider a legend. And these are just cells with a fill color in each of these of red, orange, yellow, darker yellow, and yellow. So then I've actually, as you can tell, we've actually put values into each one of these cells, 80, 81, 82, uh, and they'll show up on the chart. So, uh, now if you don't know how to do conditional formatting, that's how we're going to create this heat map. Go to my blog and search for conditional formatting, and it'll show you the tips and tricks regarding conditional formatting. But it's pretty simple and easy, but uh, there is a, an order of operation that we probably want to do this one. Uh, so the only thing you have to do is highlight the range for your heat map. And we started here in cell D6, and we've gone down to cell S18. And then we want to go up to our home ribbon. And then from our home ribbon, there is a conditional formatting button. The conditional formatting button, what we want to do is we want to cho choose highlight cells, rules, and we want to do greater than. Now, uh, here's where we want to enter a value uh, for the greater than number. And what I always want to do is if we're going to do greater than, we need to start with the lowest number and work our way up since we have different steps of colors. And what I want to do is, since our lowest number here is 80, I want to enter 79 in there. You can kind of see the chart's already changing to what's over here with this light red fill with dark red text. But I want to give it some different colors than what the Excel standards are. I just want to click on the width and then click on Format, Custom Format. Click on OK. And uh, it's going to bring up the Format Cells dialog box. And we want to create, uh, click on the Fill tab that you see at the top right. And then we want to choose, uh, since this is our yellow color, uh, I've already got one kind of in the standard colors, which is just sort of a bright yellow. Click on OK. Click on OK again. Now you can see it's highlighted everything that a number is greater than 79 in yellow. We're going to keep the same range highlighted, and we're just going to redo this conditional formatting again. So go to your home ribbon, go over to your conditional formatting button, highlight cell rules, greater than. And now this time we want to do the next step. So uh, if we cancel this uh, and go back and look at our heat index, since I didn't remember what the numbers were, um, our next lowest value is 89. Oh, there's an 87. Um, and that looks like 88. So 91 is our lowest value in this darker uh, yellow. And let's, so let's go back over to our heat index here. Got that range highlighted, conditional formatting, highlight cell rules, greater than. And we want to change this to 90. So we want it to be greater than 90. You can kind of see it's highlighted right where we want it to do and everything to the right. Click on our width, choose custom format. 
And in this instance, we want to do a, uh, on the Fill tab, we want to do more colors. And we want to hit our Standard tab, not the Custom tab, our Standard one. And there is a sort of lighter uh, yellow, right? Let's see, I think that one would probably do nicely for us. Looks sort of similar to the other ones. Let's see if we can vary that just a little bit. It's a little darker yellow, so let's go that slightly darker yellow there. Click on OK. Click on OK again. You can see the two differences here. Click on OK, and you see now everything greater than 90 has changed. So put our heat index one more time. Our next value is going to be 105, 104. There's a 104, so we want to be greater than 103 for the darker yellow. So again, you can just keep this whole range highlighted. Go to your conditional formatting button within your home ribbon. Highlight cell rules greater than. And so we want to do 103. And we want to change the format to a custom format. And in this instance, let's do more colors. We want to choose this darker, sort of uh, almost orange color. Click on OK. OK. And you really, even though it's highlighted and shaded differently, you can see those three different colors there. Click on OK. And our charts, our heat index map is starting to take effect. Let's see what the final color is. This is the red. Now, 127, 126. Looks like our lowest value is 126. So if we do greater than 125, we should get a red fill color. Go back to sheet one. We've got our range highlighted. We go to our conditional format, greater than. And uh, what did I say? We want to do 125. Don't remember if that was the right one. Now let's go back and look at that. It was, uh, yep, greater than 125. Um, so I can go into my conditional formatting. Now, if this ever happens to you, uh, you notice I just clicked on it, and it's got this pink color. I didn't get the red for extreme danger that I was looking for. If this ever happens to you, you can highlight your range, go up to conditional formatting, and then there's a bottom choice down here that says Manage Rules. Click on Manage Rules, and there's that light pink one where it says cell is greater than 125. You can click on it and click on Edit Rule up here in the top area. And we want to change this formatting. So cell value is greater than or equal to or, or greater than 125. And we want to change this format. We want to change it right there. And I've got a really deep red that we can choose there in the standard colors. Click on OK. Click on OK. And if you cancel, you always want to hit apply here so you can actually see it in action before you hit OK. And now you see we've got the red color in there as well. Uh, and I don't really like how that formatted, so let me manage that rule again and take out the uh, red text. Now I'm going to go conditional formatting rules, manage rules, uh, and we want to click on the cell value, click on edit rule. Let's change the format, and in this case it's the font color, so we're going to go to the font tab. Can click on the font color and do automatic. Click on OK, OK. Apply. Notice they're black now. Okay. All right. So we've recreated everything except for. You notice down here it is still white. It is not red, and that's because these are all blank values. They're not greater than 125. So if we want to put red in these cells, we can do this uh, uh, with another custom format rule. So let's highlight the whole range. Conditional formatting. And in this case, we want to do a new rule. We don't want to do highlight cell rules because it's not greater than a certain value. Let's click on New Rule, and from New Rule we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. Click on that. We want to type our formula right in here. We're going to say equals, and uh, once again I've got a whole blog post about this, but I'm going to say equals is blank, and I'm going to choose cell D6 as my reference. I need to change my format here in my formatting rule. I'm going to go up to the fill. We're going to choose that deep red again. Click on OK. Click on OK. And look at that. We now have our heat index uh, complete through um, all of these other values. And uh, it's blanks and it's showing up as red as well. So this is a quick and easy way to create something that looks like a chart that is not actually a real chart in Excel just using standard spreadsheet cells. Hopefully you found this uh, non chart charting technique exciting and you can use this for your company dashboards your executive dashboards because uh, this is a way that you can have uh, perhaps sales price points and 
Uh, over here you have number of purchases and you can see where the sweet spots are quickly uh, by finding the numbers with your conditional format as to how they fit into a certain group or category. All right, so please visit my blog at excel-templates.com. Make sure you also sign up for my YouTube channel so that you're sure to get the latest video delivered directly to your inbox. Thank you.